So as you can see, this is a Valkyria Chronicles, or perhaps Valkyria, Valkyra, I don't know. It's a, uh, a sort of combo visual novel um, turn-based tactics RPG game. picked it up in the Steam sale recently uh, when it was I forget how cheap it was it was 75% off or something definitely more than the half price because it's not it's not a Linux game it's Windows so I don't like to buy full price Windows games ever in these day and age um, so I'm going to start a new game as far as the recording is concerned, I'll probably skip through a, uh, a few things in the video just to get to the interesting bits. March 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. So you can see the uh, art style is a sort of hand-drawn, cartoon-type type look. Most of the game is story delivered through these um, cutscene style things. I don't think it's recorded video, I think it's actually rendered though, because you get to uh, move the characters around in the tactical combat turn-based combat sections. Whoa. Already? Hey there, guys. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? How's the water? So, definitely, if, if you've not got any stomach for uh, visual novels, then probably you're not going to like this. There's quite long periods of uh, almost no interactivity at all. You just watch the story. Breeze. Put your hands in the air, slowly. It helps that the uh, the story is uh, quite beautiful to look at, in my opinion. I haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are the one with the gun. We're with the Brutown Watch. I'm Alicia. Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. <laughs> this book is nothing, really. I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh... <laughs> yes. Oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? <coughs> All right then, Mr. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Uh, uh, thanks, fish. So the framing device for the whole story is this book that, um, you know, is a history of the war. Your, your Gallia, a small, a small but independent nation being attacked unjustly by the vast Eastern Empire in a sort of analogue alt history Europe where I think the, you know Gallia it, it sort of looks a bit like looks a bit like Holland but the location seems more sort of Scandinavia area you know as much as the location can be determined if you're just uh, looking at the, the, the map which obviously isn't Europe in any way at all. Um, we'll carry on with the story and after this next episode there'll be the, uh, well essentially the combat tutorial which will give you the idea of how it all works. Flowers, bugs and fish. You're not bad with a pen are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. 
before, this could be some kind of secret code. And I intend to take my time finding out for sure. <sighs> Great. Welks? Is that you? Isara! Oh, your timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Wait... Don't you live at the old General's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Again, I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> Gunfire! Everyone, keep your heads down! Over there! Come on! So, this sets up the uh, Welkin, you can handle a gun, right? The combat tutorial. Yeah, I mean, I made it through training anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to bother saving it because I've already got another game going, <laughs> and we'll do the combat. And then uh, wrap up the video. <coughs> okay, here's the plan. So you can't go out of the areas marked as the uh, the map. And also, I found that once you've completed one of the combat bits. You can't, you can't do it again. Rather, well, you can listen to all the story bits again, which seems a bit of an odd way of doing it. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. But I guess that demonstrates where the the priorities, the priorities of the uh, the game lie. Right, so it's going to tell me how to play the game. I see three of them. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Alright, so. We have these command points, which basically means actions. So I've got three command points, so I've got three actions. And I've got a town watchman. Welkin, we've got Alicia. So let's move Welkin first. And you switch to this first person mode. And so you have a movement gauge. So you can use up the movement at any point. Which works like, you know, typical first person shooter. I'm going to charge up here. E to attack, yeah, 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 yeah. All of this. So I'm going to crouch behind the uh, the sandbags there, and then into target mode. And I'm going to shoot him in the head. There we go. So that's how you can end the turn. Yes.
Oh. I'm gonna charge onwards. It's gonna warn me about cover. Keeping an eye on my action. And I'm going to crouch there behind the banks. And my turn. I'll oh, end the action. So my turn is, of course, three actions. Now we'll pick up Alicia. My turn, okay? And with her, we we'll charge up to them sandbags. Shoot at the bad, shoot at the nasty soldiers. So it's going to take seven shots. I don't know, two shots if I hit him in the head. Going for it. Beautiful. So you can move one character twice in the same turn, which I'll Here do now. Go. So I'm going to charge over here a bit. Well, I'm going to crawl over here a bit. And shoot him in the head. Only one out of two. It's unfortunate. Let's crouch down behind the sandbag so he doesn't die. And we'll have to end the current action. Yeah, yeah. Find a balance. So I have to end my current phase now. So the enemy got a turn. But hopefully, my man there will be able to shoot him as he moves. There we go. So I've completed the combat, so that's that's basically how the game goes. You have story, you have story, and you have some turn-based combat. Um, like I said earlier, it's a beautiful game to look at. Um, the music is quite nice. The combat, it's it's quite enjoyable. It's you know it's not XCOM, but it's it's an interesting way of doing things. Especially the whole um, being able to move a character twice thing. And uh, yeah, so far, really, really worth the money, I would have said. If you are, if you're looking for a story-based role-playing game, this is definitely one to check out.